okay, one of the things we talk about is that uh, really the seven bad cow have to eat the seven uh, good cow. And there are probably many people that they will ask, they will ask the, their self, if the tree of knowledge good and evil, God said don't eat from it, why we have to eat from it? And why, why we need it from the first place? Let's just stay with the good, uh, the good old Jesus and we don't need all this. There, there might be many people that uh, think like this. Uh, one of the basic difference between Judaism and Christianity that like we said many times, Christianity is above the Torah and Judaism is the Torah. So the Torah really, if we learn it well, the Torah is milk and honey, butter and honey, equals the book of God. So the Torah, it put us in a, in a situation of duality. We have, we have to deal with duality and we have to sin, we have to be ready to sin. Because from the first place to eat the, to eat the tree of knowledge good and evil it was a sin against God. So, but this is all the, all, all the Judaism is we eat and we will eat again. This is all the Judaism. A whole to hal. It's the breaking of the vessels. Yeah, yeah. So we have to eat from the tree of knowledge, good and evil, because this is what it is written in the Torah, really. The Torah is a plant of the the Torah is a plant of creation, and in the plant of creation, we we supposed to do what it is written in the plan, and if it is a plan, it is written that that we eat the tree of knowledge, good and evil. Even God says that do not eat the tree of knowledge, good and evil. Well, we talk about different uh, nuance here. The way it was said that is not, uh, not simple. Because God said you can eat from all the trees in the garden. The problem was the separation of the tree of knowledge, good and evil from the tree of life. This was a problem. In the moment, we, we learn it later, only like, you know, like a book of, 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 of law, of, of stories, of law, do this, don't do this, you will die, it's no good. This has to be connected to the tree of life, to honey, and in the moment it's connected to the tree of honey, everything is true, tree, everything, of tree of life, everything is true, everything is all right, no problem with the snakes, no problem, and there's no problem with the sin too. And it's part of this world, the rectification of this world, all the Torah was giving as a plan of creation and as an as uh, instrument to fix this world. So it is a state that we are, we cannot yet, we are above, we are like children. We didn't yeah, eat, we, we didn't eat yet butter and honey. And it is a state that everybody will eat butter and honey. Everybody that left in the in the land will eat butter and honey. This is the end of the story. It means finally, really, everybody will learn Torah. This was supposed to be all right. So now there are there are some. I know. I mean, many people that are Christian and they want to become Jew, but they have a big problem. What is the problem they have? In the moment, the, after the land, for one, two, three years, all the commandments, uh, they make them, uh, they are very tough, the rabbi here. And finally, when they, they ex examine them to, 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 to see if they are ready uh, to become Jew, they will ask them, all right, what do you think about Jesus? 
Now, the Christians, of course, have the big fear of saying something against Jesus because Jesus said very clearly in the New Testament that somebody that will testimony against me, I will, I will testimony against him, against to the Father. So it is a big problem for Christian to become Jew. Let's say that it's a good thing to become Jew. I want to learn Torah. I want to be part of the, the choice, uh, chosen people. I want to learn Torah. I want to, to do the commandment as a Jew. All right, you can do it. You become Jew if you want. But then I have to leave the first name. Now it's not a state that I can say that the the law name is Yeshua. And is Yeshua. This is a high name. This is a Christian at root. And this is the Judaism. Yadu. Here the tree of fig is not ready yet, like in the story in the New Testament, Jesus didn't eat the tree of fig. Didn't eat. Didn't eat, he was not ready to eat. And to eat the tree of fig, it's like a curse, because it, it told to the tree of fig, you, you will never give food, you will not have children. Like we curse Jesus exactly, it's like he cursed himself. And here we eat the tree of fig, not as good and evil. Now, this, this concept was lost from Judaism. It's not there in Judaism. Now, it's a good thing to go from here to here. It's like to go down. It's like to go from the good guy to the bad guy. Well, if, if I have this inside this, even I say that this eats this, all right, I don't, I can't say it's good. I go to Judaism, I, I gain this, I, and now I have all this and this. But really, when I go to Judaism, it means that I, I am ready to lose this concept this connection and receive this connection instead. Because this is really what happened to everybody that grew up. In the moment you eat the tree of knowledge, good and evil, you must lose in, in one way this concept. You are not anymore naked. You cannot come back to be a child. In the moment you learn and you open your eyes, you cannot come back. This is natural that you lose this. It's kind of, kind of like losing the Oray the, Echida, the light of the Yes. But it's like, it's like a process. It's like a process. When you go from here to here, you lose this. Because this is what happened to the first man. When he ate the tree of knowledge, good and evil, Jesus disappeared. He was not there. He didn't part of the Yechida. He was in standby. He didn't have the Yechida. The first man start from the Chaya. Adam Chaya. His Nishmat Chayim. Nishmat Chayim has the acronym of Chen, and his Nefesh Chaya has the acronym of Chen too. This is a Chaya, and this is has to do with Zeneran. How I know? This equal Lifnei Yarech Dordorim. What is the im? What is the mule? What is the sun plus the moon? So this is the sun. 
לנפש חיה. נפש חיה equal חטא י' ה' חיה. In, in all the, in all the <laughs> feeling letter, equal נפש חיה. Why we have here the נפש? Because we have the, the, the snake in the middle. The שלמה part in this concept of, of existent. All right, so we have here a נפש too. And here we have the נרן, we have נפש רוח נשמה. All right, so... Where is this from? For people in the see? creation of the, of the, when God created the man, Vaipar Be'apav Nishmat Chaim, Vayi Adam Lenefesh Chaya. In the, in the Tirgum, it is written Ruach Memalela, so you have the word Ruach too in the, in the Tirgum. So you have like the four kind of soul. You have the Nefesh, you have the Chaya, you have the Neshama, and you have the Ruach. Where is the Echida? It's not there. Okay? So we find this in Genesis. Yeah, this is the creation of, of, of the band. Okay, so in the moment uh, Adam and Eve eat the tree of knowledge by the advice of the snake, זה לא זה יחידה. It's mean, this part of the plan of creation that זה לא זה יחידה. But eventually they may gain it back. Yes. Yes. All right, in so... A, but in a conscient way. It's the like... Their own choice, right? I, I give you an example. It's like a, 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 a God that he wants to create the world He do a tzimtzum. He take all his light out. It's a bad thing. Constriction. In the construction, he take the light, all the light out. All his love, all his infinite light, he take it out so he can build now in a, in a place, empty place, a world that is limited. And give the, the light slowly, 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 slowly. Uh, but really the light disappear? No. No. It's just in our perception. Yes. Also, the same thing, the same thing you can't say about the Echida. All the men are mukhlet. It's in our middle of the world. Yes. Everywhere you have the light. Yes. So our perception has been modified. Yes. But still, to, be, to, be, to become Jew for a non-Jewish, it's a paradox of doing a sin. If I want to be good, I have to be bad. First. I have to take responsibility as an adult person and say, and not only say, if you want to be a good Jew, you have to be like the rule of the Jew, that right now Jesus is out of the picture for different reasons. The, the priest is not ready to eat. So maybe it's a good thing that we don't eat the tree. It looks like a sin from the point of view of the Christian that wants to become a Jew. Yes, but from the point of Judaism, the light of chaos is no good if it's not vessel. If it's not vessel to the light of chaos. And right now, before my book, I mean, <laughs> right now the way the, the, the existence is that Christianity has no vessel. It's just light. And we call it light of chaos, because it's crown. Crown, it always has to do with, with chaos. Love has to do chaos. with chaos. Okay? So even chaos is a ten word in the Torah, that every ten will be holy. It's a very holy concept, chaos. Tau. Tau. Tau is a ten word. Every ten will be holy. So it has to do with the concept of holiness. Yemarsh mo equal holy. Kodesh. Even so, this chaos must to receive vessel. It means the tree of fig must to be ready to eat. And if it's not ready to eat, from the point of view of Judaism, it's no good. And they are right. Right? So, 
we can say that this is what is above the tree of knowledge, good and evil, is good for the nation, the way they are from the beginning. It's exactly what they need. But it's exactly what the Jew don't need. Because the, the, the tree of knowledge, good and evil, must to be ready to eat. Not good at this stage, now. Right now is not, is not good. It will be good. Yeah. Everybody will eat butter and honey. But everybody will, will learn Torah finally, so it's a good thing to learn Torah. But right now, the way it is, it's like, it's like uh, have a cost of a paradox. Paulo, from the first place, he, didn't, he never tried to convince any, anyone to become Jew. Opposite. He, he's, he make a complete separation between Judaism and Christian and, and even tell them that they don't have to convert. Okay, because this is a f- the, the, the completely uh, like a first stage of development from the point of view of Christianity. It's not the time of the P come back to Am Israel. It's not the time. We are far, far from here. All right, so it is a paradox that the ten tribe was lost in the nation. So these souls are in the nation and this is... Jewish souls. Jewish soul of the ten tribe was lost in the ten, but they are not Jewish because they lost their identity. So you cannot say about any nation any, any guy cannot say about himself, I am a Jew, I am from the 10th tribe. There are many that say it, but, they, but it's not true. Yeah, there was a tradition, but their soul is still Jewish. No, no. The soul can be 90% Jew and 10% not Jew, so it's not Jew. Mm. Because it's mixed. Mm-hmm. Nobody is 100% Jew, but still that goes part all over the place. And Yosef Hashem Liben Acher, Yosef will bring me Another son from the other side, like Jesus says that even from stone I can make son of Abraham and Yitzhak and Yaakov. Okay, so the Holy Spark, the, the, the king that fell down, it's godliness uh, spark, the Rapach Nitzotzot, the 248, they are all over the place. They have to come back to Israel, to holiness. But before they do a Giyur Ka'alacha, a converter, by the law of no, Judaism, they are not Jew. And no, nobody can fool them that they are Jew. They are not Jew. They can think that they are Jew, they can do all kind of truth to cheat here the government and come here like Jew, but they are not Jew. Okay? So now, if somebody still wants to go, to become a Jew, he have this problem, this paradox. You know that it is a legend about the ten, about the ten tribes that was lost. The legend says that they was lost. They are behind the river of Sambation. Where is this legend from? It's a legend that, that, I don't know from where it came very ancient legend that the ten, to the Judaism or? to the ten tribe are lost behind the river of the Sambation. Why you call it Sambation? From the word Shabbat. This, they are look, they are surrounded by this river and this river by this legend through a stone uh, to, the, to, to up. Upwards. Are all the week, only in Shabbat, this river rest. But in Shabbat, you cannot go and travel. So you cannot pass the river because you are going, you, if you pass the river, the Shabbat, this name is called Shabbat. To go out of exile, I have to do something against the Shabbat and this equals Shabbat. 702, son, son of God, like we talk about. 
sun of sun then with big moon equals 702 what is Shabbat equals Shema Hadash all the things we talk about the the absolute the biggest revelation of Shabbat the high revelation of Shabbat in the third meal is called Rava the Reavin the will of the will what is this point we talk about this point that represent this name okay so if I want to go out of Egypt and to come back to my people I have to take responsibility and to do a sin against the Shabbat what I'm going to do all the idea of become Jew is the possibility to take responsibility of doing sin and if a, 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 somebody from the nation is not willing to do any sin, is not ready to be Jew. He don't deserve to be Jew. He's still a child. To become Jew is to take responsibility, and to take responsibility is to be able to say to Father, no, I'm not going to do it. Right now, if I do a sin, now, right now, I'm separate myself from God. Mm-hmm. This is the way it is written in the books. Does it matter what will be tomorrow? I can do it. I'm willing to do it. If the uh, uh, symptom is Kifshuto, is simply Kifshuto, that really God is not here. So black is black and what is white. But it's not like this. I can say no to God and still be with God. And our sages say that Gdola Avera Leshem Shamaim is the biggest sin that I do for the set, sake of God, sake of heaven, that a, a, a good deed that I do not for the sake of heaven, with no a, a good intention. How Mashiach born? Mashiach born from sin. Yuda with somebody that he, he, he thinks is a horror. With the two daughters of Lord that that sleeping with the father, this Hamashiach born. And our sages say bravo to these two girls of Lot. They was good, they did exactly what they have to do. And they say bravo to Tamar that she dressed like a horror to, to convince you that to sleep with her. And from this came Mashiach. Thank you.